how to control ads you see on Google and YouTube with my advertisement center so you're gonna be able to control the advertisements over the internet this was just announced today by Google and Google I'm not happy with Google I just installed a Google Chrome update and now my menu doesn't work at the top you know the menus the menu bar they don't, they don't work I thought you just might like to know that okay now this comes from blog.google slash technology slash safety dash security slash my dash ad dash center uniform resource locator on screen you can read it on your own accord and we'll just go over quickly some main points number one you can access this via Google YouTube and search and discover okay so what this allows you to do is to configure and try to control the type of ads for example you can customize what companies are allowed to advertise or what are not allowed to advertise the type of ad uh, maybe categories you know ad nauseum ad infinitum etc now this is a, a dumb device and what you would do is you would click on the three dots on the ad this is a demonstration let me open it up and if you are patient which mo I think most viewers on YouTube are not patient in a few moments I'm going to demonstrate the my ad center my own my ad center and I'll demonstrate it and then but just give me a, a few moments so this is what an ad will look like on a dumb device a smartphone okay you've got this open and right here you see where the advertisement is you just click on the three dots drop down menu and you can like the ad block the ad report add see more or fewer ads like this okay so that is one way that you can customize you can literally customize on the fly you can do this on a smartphone I think I don't I, I think you might be able to do it on a computer in a web browser but don't quote me on that okay let's go back and let's scroll down on YouTube yes on YouTube you can but their example is with a smartphone but I'm assuming on a computer you can so the same thing on a computer or through a web browser you tap on the three dots next to the ad and then you choose you know stop seeing this ad you you know blah blah you can customize it you know blah 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 now you can actually turn off advertisements in the my ad center you can turn off advertisements personalization you can completely turn it off all right now you will still see some advertisements however they may be less relevant or useful because they're not personalized what that means is that Google tracks you and Google also knows about how old you are and that's uh, that's kind of a foreshadowing to what I'm about when I when I show you my ad center when I demonstrate it so Google tracks you and they know where you what website you just browsed from they keep a huge history of your browsing habits and they know what you purchased what you liked or yeah they know what you ordered and so that is what is known in internet marketing as personalization personalized advertisements it's get it it's personal now you can turn that off but like I already told you you may or may not like the advertisements that you see okay now there's certain ad topics that maybe you do not want to see you know what I mean maybe I don't know well you know, I, I don't like it <laughs> it's a paradox I may not want to discuss that but I'm not a fan of advertisements I'll just I'll just leave it at that so I don't like to see any advertisements get, get it the irony is I am a YouTube content creator and I receive compensation from sponsors that display <laughs> advertisements okay now you can choose to limit advertisements related to some of these products alcohol dating 
weight loss, gambling, pregnancy, and parenting. Well, how about divorce? That might be <laughs> that might be an apropos one that you do not want to see. Okay. Yeah, and who wants to date? Why would you date in this time, these days and times? Why? And why would you get married? Okay. Now I'm scrolling down, and now there is privacy. I'm not. I will show it to you, but I'm not gonna. Well, I'm gonna point it out, but I'm not gonna show it to you because there's one piece of information that I do not want you to see. But they do have a privacy section. I don't believe necessarily this disclaimer about about what they don't collect or do collect. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, let's move along. Okay, so this is if you use a smartphone. You can turn this off. Yeah, I already told, remember I told you that Google tracks your history. Use YouTube history to personalize ads. See, yeah, they've been doing this for years. You can turn this off. Okay, now I'm going to demonstrate to you in the Ad Center, which is right here. Now you can browse to myadcenter.google.com. That's one way to access it in a web browser. Or what you do is you can access it through. Let's look that up. I'm pretty sure you can access it through the smartphone. Ad Center. Okay. Yes. On on any advertisement on We Censor YouTube, also known as YouTube, you can click on the three dots and access my ad center. Okay? Where else can you access it? And then in My Ad Center, you can customize ads. I thought you could access it when you searched. Yes, you can access Google's My Ad Center directly from advertisements on Google Search, on YouTube, and Discover. All right? Now, or you can type this Uniform Resource Locator on screen. It's real simple. MyAdCenter.Google.com. Okay, now I'm going to show you really quickly. Now, this is a very quick demonstration. If you want to turn off personalized advertisements up on the top right corner where it says on, you click the toggle and you'll get a pop up menu and then you will select turn off and it gives you some warnings blah blah blah, your blah 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 blah. And I'm at the eight minute mark. Okay, so that's how you turn it off. Now, if you want to turn them back on, you just click that toggle and turn it back back on. Now, remember, the, the caveat is that if you turn off personalized ads, you may see advertisements that are not, you may not like them. They may not be relevant. You know what I'm saying? They may, they, you might be watching a video, you know, about a vehicle that you want to purchase and you may get a diapers commercial a pant pant oops 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 oh, oh oh remember we censored youtube you have to be careful no 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 i'm not a sponsor of no in my videos i have no sponsors i'm not connected i'm not affiliated with any anybody <laughs> i mean i'm mean, serious man you have to be careful on youtube nowadays you can't just oh you don't have free speech anymore okay Now, there is no data. This is a good sign. There is no data in my ad center. Now, that could change. It, when you start seeing date, you know, topics here, you notice the minus and the plus. So, and there will be a topic. Let's say vehicles. And I don't like vehicle advertisements. I could click on plus or I could click on minus. And then that will tell Google not to show or to show less. So more or less, it's a duality. So any topics, and I'm not sure if this will ever work, and I'm not going to discuss why that is. This is actually a good sign for me personally. I was happy to see that my ad center was, was blank. There's nothing in it. Brands for you, no brands here. Same thing with brands. Maybe there's some brands that you like. Maybe there's some brands that you do not like. If 
there is a brand that you do not like, click on the minus sign and it may not show any ads for that brand or it, they'll be limited. You know, you'll, you may receive, yeah, it'll sh set it to fewer. I don't, I don't know if you, it'll block an entire brand. I just do not know that. But it's supposed to show less ads. And then, you know, the other side of that, kind of like a duality. If there are certain brands that you want advertisements to display on Google and YouTube, then you would hit plus. Now, I'm not sure if you can only click these once and or if you just click, you know, keep clicking on them. And I don't, I don't know. Your recent advertisements, nothing here. Now, I'm not sure what you can do here because I don't see any. Oh, no, they have a plus and a minus. Your recent advertisement, same similar scenario. If there's certain ads that show up under your recent advertisements, click on minus to to tell Google that you want less of those ads to show up, and then click on plus if to tell Google you want more of those types of advertisements to show up. And that's basically it here as far as the my ads. Now there's customized ads. There are topics, brands, and sensitive. These three separate areas you can actually customize. And they are listed either by name, most recent, most seen. You can set it to all topics or you can choose a subtopic. Now, this is blank, so this is excellent. This is exactly what I wanted to see. And I'm not going to discuss that, but, you know, I'm just telling you. When you log into your My Ad Center, you might see all kinds of advertisements. And if, if it were me, I'd be cussing. However, but I'm not you. I'm a hip. I guess you could call me a hypocrite. <laughs> okay. So that you can customize them. Now, let's see. I don't. I'm not sure how this works because nothing shows up. Maybe click, let me click on brands, nothing, sensitive. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So under sensitive, remember earlier in this video, there were categories that they claimed that you could, you know, try to shut off or not to show many of them. This is where you turn them off. It, so they all have a toggle. These are all turned on. And I will be honest and blunt to you. I would probably turn all these off. And I, pro and I will after this video. I do not want to see any alcohol advertisements. I do not want to see any dating advertisements. I do not want to see any gambling advertisements. And quite frankly, I do not necessarily want to see any pregnancy and parenting advertisements. And I do not want to see any weight loss. Number one, I do not consume alcohol for, what, seven and a half years now. Number two, dating to me is a waste of time under the current system. Number three, gambling is just, it's risky and you're just wasting money. Number four, I do not need to worry about number four because all you have to do is go back to number two <laughs> and i'm a i'm a single bachelor so uh, thank dog i mean and then weight loss i'm not like a perfect my i don't have the figure <laughs> i don't have the body of you know a professional athlete i don't need but i'm pretty thin I would be considered skinny or thin, but I'm not, you know, it's not like I have six pack abs and I'm just chiseled and no, but I am pretty, I never get sick. I haven't been sick for 10 years. And one reason why I think might be because I try to keep thin, you know, okay. So I don't want any of this. You can turn them off. There are, you know, just click the toggle switch and you can turn all of them off or just whichever ones you do not want. Now, they claim that you may still see advertisements about these topics, even if you disable them. Oh, yeah, here's an example. You may see an airline advertisement, and they will show a passenger being served an alcohol cocktail <laughs> or, or a big, strong scotch. <sighs> you may not be able to do anything about that. And then they have some frequently asked questions based. Now, in closing, I am not going to show you the ma managed privacy because there is one piece of information that I do not want you to know about me. 
And I'm not even going to give you a hint. I already gave you a hint earlier in this video. You're just going to have to figure out at what point in the video my hint was at. Google just keep, tracks you all over the internet. They know just about everything about you. They even know your internet protocol address. That's just the way it is. However, I still am cognizant and conscious about my privacy. And so I will not show you the manage privacy tab. Click there and you can go back to the article and it, and it take here you know, we can this video is almost over. This is important. To me this could be extremely important. And then I will also tell you that I am concerned as a YouTube content creator. Okay, so yeah, there's a, a lot of privacy information in in that tab. So you might want to check it out. You might learn something. Uh, Google knows something about you and I'm not going to tell you exactly what it is but it was within uh, I'll just be blunt I was not comfortable when I found out that they basically how shall I articulate it they intelligence gathered something about me within within like 20 just a certain time frame and I'm not really happy about that I'm actually kind of concerned not really happy about that okay now yeah they don't really mention the privacy tab okay I am concerned as a YouTube content creator because whenever Google makes changes pertaining to advertisements uh, my immediate thought process is am I gonna lose money I'm being honest. I'm being transparent. When if people start making changes f to the type of advertisement that they view on YouTube, am I going to be affected? Is it going to affect the sponsors that that advertise on my videos? Is it going to affect my revolutions per mille, which means how much money do I earn per 1000 views? If that if that tanks, then I am not happy with this at all. Hey, you never know. I mean, with this, you can customize. This is pretty customizable. Now, I'm not sure if you, you can't necessarily just block just one specific advertisement. But I am concerned that this could affect my bottom line. I'm already earning minimum wage pennies on the dollar as a you know part-time surf on YouTube. After this, am, am I going to become unemployed? <laughs> okay. And then one more item. I do not know for a fact, and I didn't really investigate. YouTube has what is known as Google AdSense, and that allows third-party websites to display advertisements on their blogs or websites or articles or ad nauseum ad infinitum, and then they can earn revenue that way. When you make these changes, does it also affect the Google you know, partner the third party partnerships. Does it affect the Google AdSense advertisements? I'm not, I'm not sure if it does or not. So, as an example, if you notice when you browse the internet and then you browse somebody's blog or just some some website that you stumble upon, no pun intended, and then you notice these you you just bought your wife her wedding dress. And isn't it, uh, isn't it the male? Isn't it? Uh, anyways, whatever. I, I don't have to worry about that, but <laughs> I have studied subjects like that. That's another reason why I will not get married is because of, not all not all women. I'm not targeting all women, but some want like a 20,000. What was it? I've studied. And supposedly in America and maybe even Europe, the average wedding costs $20,000. And I'm like, and I think it's the male that has to come up with the the payment for the wedding twenty thousand dollars anyways so you just got married and you purchased a wedding dress and like you know six months later you're browsing some website and you receive an and you receive an abundance of advertisements for wedding dresses and you're and you're scratching your head well that's what i'm talking about when i say that google basically tracks your every move on the internet and maybe uh, offline <laughs> okay, that's enough. I just do not know if that's going to affect the 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 ads that are displayed on third-party websites.
but according to I think their blog post, it, it's a Google search, it is Google Discover, and then YouTube. Adios.